All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to add, remove, and otherwise manage your friends list inside of the Blizzard Battle.net launcher so that you can more easily play with all of your friends. So the simple answer is right here at the top, if you want to add someone as a friend and you know what their name is, and generally your name is like your username plus a bunch of numbers, at the end of it, and also it helps if you're in the same like region of servers as your friends when you want to play with them as well. Uh, that's what you need in order to add them as a friend or the email that they have connected to their Battle.net account. From there, you go in to add a friend, type them out here, and it'll automatically send them a friend request if that tag matches up with the correct person. If you have a typo or the wrong numbers at the end of it, it won't allow you to send the friend request. Or if it does, it'll go to either the wrong person or it'll just linger in digital limbo, not going anywhere. There used to be a way a million years ago for some of these game launchers to let you search for your friends. Like the one for Microsoft's Xbox app for Windows does let you search for people by name. But when it comes to Blizzard, you have to know the exact name of the person. Otherwise, you can't add them you know, through the direct invite here. Now, the other thing that you can do is if you want to add somebody that you just played a game with through the Battle.net launcher, you can click add a friend. And then down here, there's a list of recently played with. I don't really play a lot of these games anymore, but if you play on a multiplayer game, and you played with somebody and you thought they were pretty good, you can find them in this list down here, and then you can click and add them that way. Alternatively, let's say I have a friend that uh, also had a mutual friend that I thought was pretty fun to hang out with, then I could go ahead and add them by looking for friends of a friend if I know them by name. And then like, if I wanna just be sure who I'm talking about, I can just hover over them. Like, let's say I want to, uh, Augathor here was cool. I can hover over them and I'm like, is this the Augathor that I know about? And it'll show me the mutual friends that I have with them. And yep, that looks like the one they know my friend Bojangles. Or, you know, like Moo Moo down here knows my friend Imu and all my other buddies who used to play. Wow, that's how I know that they're a pretty good person and then you can click on add right here to add them as a friend. And that would be the same with how it looks here in the recently played with section. It would show you mutual friends if you had any, and then you can click add on the right hand side. Now let's say you've got someone added to your friends list that you made a mistake or you don't like them anymore. You got a few options with how to deal with them. Like let's say I'm having a spat with Arkyle. I can right click him and I got a few options here. Now down here at the bottom, you've got remove friend. You can report them if they did something wrong. Like if you played with somebody recently in your recently played with list that you know is like spouting the N word in chat, you can report them by clicking on the report button. Or if you're just kind of tired of them, you can block them and then remove them as a friend. Now that's not the only options that you have in here when you right click on somebody. You can start a chat conversation, which will open up a chat window. You can start a voice chat. Blizzard's built-in audio voice chat isn't terrible these days, but it's not the best, so your mileage may vary. You can view their profile. You can view their wish list if they have a public wish list. You can invite them to a group, add them to your favorites section, which will pop up here at the top of the list. You can set a personal note that only you can see. Like, let's say you have a friend who constantly changes their names like they do on Steam. You can leave a note to say who that person is. You can view their friends list, which the ability to view other people's friends list really depends on their settings. So your mileage may vary on that. You can upgrade to a real ID friend, which is just a nice way of saying they can see personal information like your actual name. And then of course the same options that I told you about before for remove friend report block and all of that jazz. You can also just double click on somebody if you want to talk to them and that'll open up a chat window. You can also go down here to chats and groups. This will show you all of the active chats that you currently have. Like I can close this one 
But I can start a chat with another friend by creating a chat by clicking this button here to start a chat. And it'll ask me who in my friends list I want to start talking to. Or I can create a chat group from a number of different friends so that we can have like a big group chat that we can coordinate what games we want to play, when we want to play, what our availabilities are, whatever. And you can add, you can create a name, add a description, and then start adding people to this group by doing that. You can also join a group if they give you a link or a code number that you can then put into here and click to join the group. So those are kind of handy, especially if you have a group of friends that are not always on at the same time. Group chats are a great way to stay in contact with them. Now, you've got some other personal options for your own account. If you want to hide your online presence, all you gotta do is click on your profile at the top here and you can appear offline if you just wanna play privately and not chat with anybody. You're just tired at the end of the day. You just wanna play a game and not be bothered. You can do that. You can also go with Busy. Busy says you're online, but it won't send you any notifications. You can also say away. So you're not, not available right now, but you are online technically. It's what I do on Discord a lot. And then of course you can see your own profile you can click on this button to go to the website to see your account settings. You can look at your wish list from the store. You can check out the gifts that you've been receiving. If you have like a code from a game that you bought on like Amazon, and you need to redeem a code. You can click on redeem code here and it'll open up a little button in the shop. So you can enter the code and click redeem to add an, a game to your account or add money to your account in order to buy something. And then you can also change your battle tag or maybe you're on the wrong account. You're, you know, currently your significant others logged in, click log out and you can log into your account that way as well. So yeah, that is a quick look at how the friends list stuff works inside of Blizzard's launcher. I hope you found that helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Bye everybody. Have a good one.